Hey, Rise Church, Pastor Aaron here. Wanted to update you with uh, our first ever uh, weekly devotional. And what we're going to start doing uh, on a weekly basis here at Rise is just to start giving you a weekly devotion from me uh, to our church family. And we're just going to kind of have an old fashioned online Bible study. And the whole hope of it and the whole point of it is really just to get you connected to God's Word and to give you maybe something to think about. One, maybe a simple thought that you can apply today in your own life. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do kind of a weekly uh, Rise Church devotional uh, found right here on social media and on our YouTube channel so you can watch it at any time you like. Today, our very first one I thought would be a great opportunity for us to talk about hope. And um, I know hope is such a, a lost thing right now. So many of us are uh, caught in fear. So many of us are caught in hopelessness. And um, it's easy to lose out on some of the hope that we, we truly have as Christians. The other day I was uh, cleaning up my room and I picked up one of my uh, shorts and I reached into the pocket of my shorts and I found uh, some money that I had left in my shorts. Now, some of you have had that happen, and I got so excited. It was like, I didn't know I had this extra money because I didn't. I had forgot that it was inside of this pocket. So I had something that uh, I didn't know I had, and I just hadn't accessed it because I forgot that I had it. And um, I remember just thinking how blessed I was and how excited I was and I was able to go out and use that money. I think I went and bought a Starbucks, you know, I went and bought a coffee. And um, the funny thing about that is, is that's that's how we are with our hope on in life. Our hope in life, in so many ways, the world wants us to be distracted by all the things going on and all the issues of our life. But the truth of the matter is you and I, we have hope. We really do. We have hope as as Christians, and oftentimes it's like money that we don't know we have lost in maybe our laundry somewhere. You have it. You just haven't accessed it. And when we haven't accessed it, we can't actually truly feel the benefits from it because it's lost and it's not found. Ephesians chapter 1, Paul recognizes this. In fact, it becomes one of his prayer uh, to the local church in the city of Ephesus. And I wanted to read it to you. It's in verse 17 if you want to read it. And it says this. It says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the Spirit. So he's talking to the church here. Of wisdom and revelation. This, this idea of I want you to see it so that you may know him better. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. There it is again. He's like, I want you to see this. Don't want you to miss it. I want you to have revelation and I want you to be enlightened in order that you may, this is important, he said, here's why, that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. Like us believers, we have a hope. We, we, we are not lost. There is hope, even though it seems like it's hopeless. And the, he says this, he says the, that power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms. We, we, we don't naturally uh, maybe operate with hope. You know, the world way of describing hope would be cross your fingers and hope. Like cross your fingers and just hope and just wish that maybe some things would, would happen and go on well. But the truth is, is biblical hope is is this idea of confident expectation. Confident expectation. Today, I, I want you to be encouraged. Today, I want you to be uh, hopeful. Today, I want you to stand strong and know that you have hope in Christ, that you have hope in God, that God desires not just to meet you where you're at, but to take you to your, your next step. And in a world of hopelessness, Guess what? The, one of the greatest opportunities we have as Christians, we have hope. So stand strong today. Have confident expectation that God's going to bring you, not just you th to this moment, but he's going to bring you through this moment. Will you pray with me? Father, I thank you, God, that today your word reveals to us that we have confident expectation in you, that it is something we can access on a regular basis, that we can go to you, your feet, we can go to you and understand and know 
and be confident to know that you, you, you are going to do and make things well in not just the world, but in our world. I pray that we would stand strong today, that we would lift our eyes, that we would have hope in our soul and in our spirit. We have hope on our lips, hope in our minds and our attitudes, that today, God, you will make all things good. In Jesus' name, amen.